I'm AJ, and thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you're gonna like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Recently, I did an update to the top five savings accounts in 2019. Uh, it's been six months into the year, and so we made an update to it based on the changes in the interest rates, since there were a few accounts that reduced their interest rates since the beginning of the year. And one of the new entrants into the top five, which actually tied for number one, is personal capital cash. Now, many of you may know personal capital as an application that you can use to track your finances. You can put all of your different bank accounts and savings accounts and any uh, mortgage or loans and things of that nature that you have. And you can track them all within that one app so you can get a full picture of your finances. This app is very similar to the Mint app but with personal capital, they have a more detailed focus on investments and planning for your retirement. Just last month in June of 2019, they introduced the personal capital cash savings account. Now with this savings account, you're getting a 2.3% interest rate, which is currently one of the best interest rates that you can get for an online savings account that also doesn't have any fees doesn't have any local banks that you can access. So as far as online savings accounts, this is one of the best that you can get without having any fees. There's no minimum deposit that you have to have in order to maintain the account. Uh, you only need a dollar just to open the account. And then after that, it can be as low as you want. It can be even zero. Uh, but of course you wanna take advantage of that savings account by putting as much money as you can, uh, whatever your emergency fund or your savings fund, if you're saving, like maybe you're saving for a down payment for a future home, you wanna put that cash into an account that's actually gonna make money for you over time. Now you actually have the option to have a 2.35% interest rate if you are a personal capital advisory client. So personal capital also has wealth management options where you can actually you know, speak to financial advisors and they can invest their money for you. Um, that's not a part of the service that I actually use. I pretty much only use personal capital just like I use Mint to track my finances, track any loans that I have like student loans or mortgage, and that way I can get a full picture of my finances. But once I saw that they did have the savings account, I figured I'd go ahead and check it out and just create an account. And that's another great thing. If you're already a personal capital user, it is really easy to set up the savings account. Because you already have your checking accounts and other savings accounts linked to personal capital for tracking purposes, it's really easy. All you have to do is actually select one of those accounts that's already connected to personal capital. And it's really easy because they already have your login information and your bank account information when you first set it up so that personal capital could track your different accounts. So if you are looking for a new savings account or something that's gonna get a higher interest rate than the current bank account that you have, definitely check out Personal Capital Cash. It is one of the highest for online savings accounts and it's currently 23 times higher than the national average for your typical bank uh, savings account. Now, one thing to note is Personal Capital isn't their own bank. So they're actually using the services of a bank called UMB. They are the service provider for your actual bank account and that's where your funds are held. But you use the Personal Capital application to make the transfer that you need to put into that account and you don't really have to worry about those things on the back end. And another great thing about uh, this specific account compared to your traditional savings account, uh, with a traditional savings account, you have limits to the amount of withdrawals that you can make per month. And that's a federal limit of six withdrawals per month. But since this is a savings account, the purpose of it is to put money in and not to continuously take money out. So that's not really a limit that you want to even have to worry about because you want to just put more money in than you're actually taking out. That way you can have money for emergencies or if you're saving for a car or saving for a down payment for your home. But if you did need to take out money, there are no fees and there are no limits to the amount of times that you can actually withdraw funds from that account. So this was just a quick video to talk about the new personal capital savings account. 
with the other accounts that were in my update to the top five savings accounts of 2019. The other four I had already done a review of, and you can see that. Make sure you check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but I wanted to do this video to provide a little bit more details about the personal capital savings account itself since it's an account that just started back in June of this year. All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it because you could have been doing anything else with the time in your day. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button because you really like this video and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. All right, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.